Anthony A, Vision of Southwest, Get to Know series, here at the Hard Rock Casino. Gonna catch up on boy Camilo right now. Come check us out. Come with us. It's your boy Camilo Quinones. I'm here with Anthony A, Vision of the Southwest, Magico Entertainment, Six Mike Films. Boom! Soy un hombre muy honrado que me gusta lo mejor. A mujeres no me falta ni el dinero. Anthony A, Vision of the Southwest here. Cut on man, Camilo. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. Good, right good, here. good. Right, nice, nice. You know, you're playing up at Club Lucha. Shout out to Joanne. Let us film here. Yes. Um, you know, so I caught you up on a different twist tonight, man. Not a usual drum set on Congress, man. Yeah. Feels good about that. You know, what, what band is this we're playing with right now? Um, tonight I'm playing with Nosotros, playing the Congas and percussion. Mm -hmm. um, Congas was actually my first instrument. Oh, out really? I was like uh, about 14 years old. When I, when I really like um, put a lot of like focus into music yeah yeah and that was when i really became a uh, really dedicated got up every morning before school mm -hmm. uh, practicing uh your, your dad is a player of artist too right uh, my dad's also a percussionist and a musician he's also a elementary um educator so nice nice you and your dad play together a lot of that. um we've we've done i've been lucky enough to play a lot of gigs with him mm -hmm. and it's you know it's one of the those are some of the funnest gigs for me is you know being able to have those conversations yeah. with my dad through music. Dude, that has a little bit more meaning yeah. to it. Yeah. Your whole family is like all oh, you got other people um, besides your dad, right? My uncle and my older brother and um, my older brother has reached the highest level of success so really? far out of, out of my family. Um he plays with the Almond Brothers right? currently he plays with the Almond Brothers band. I mean he's done world tours with Numerous different acts, Ruben Blades, what they call them. Mm -hmm. You also played in front of like what, you know, 40,000? What's the largest crowd you I'm played? At, um, probably the largest crowd that I ever played in was at a Mother's Day festival in Dallas, Texas, mm -hmm. uh, put on by like 10 different Mexican radio stations. There was probably about 60,000 people there. Nice, so. man, that's a lot, man. Um, how many different bands are you in right now? Man? How are you? Well, I play active. Right? I play freelance. Oh, okay. So I don't, I don't, I mean, there are definitely projects that I am part of, mm -hmm. but um, I'm a freelance musician, so I play with, you know, whatever the opportunities that are, that are you know, yeah, best for me. Yeah, themselves. Yeah, also, yeah. you know. Let's, let's switch genres, man. Let's jump into it. You know what else to do? Also got a group with DJ Automatic, right? Am I correct? Uh, yeah, me and DJ Automatic have a duo we call Twisted Audio, mm -hmm. and it's a live drum set with the DJ. Eventually, once, um, you know, we have enough, um, where the shows are bigger budget shows, I want to do a full on percussion set up also where I'm jumping back and forth from the drum set to the congas um, you know, bongo, whatever other instruments, maybe some electronics or stuff. You know. Definitely. Let's talk about how, how did that come about? How did that happen? Oh, um, you and DJ Automatic linking up. Me and DJ Automatic linked up. Um, it was actually through his wife, Dana, mm -hmm. and uh, Dana Cortez course from KISS FM and uh, I have known her for a long time we had done uh, promotions together yeah. with KISS when I was doing uh, um, more promoting back in the day when I was younger and um, me and Automatic met on the stage uh, at an Ozomali concert oh, okay. so um, Ozomali were friends of mine they, they had invited me to come and sit in with them and he got invited along with DJ Rockwell and um, we, that was how we met. That was the first day we met. Like, they let me do a little solo, and then he did a little scratch solo. And then, of course, afterwards, you know, we were both kind of intrigued, and we met at whatever mm -hmm. the after party or after concert, whatever was going on. That we did was um, at the Q bar for Halloween, uh -huh. and uh, he dressed up like Eminem. I dressed up like Snoop Dogg. Really? And then we did we had a double header our first night with the double header. We did that. And then we went straight up to Santa Fe and played at the Club Fusion. It's nice, Fe. man. What what drew you to the drums and the combo? You know, what drew you to that? Um man, just as a young kid, I mean my father, you know, was always doing gigs, having rehearsals in the house, there was always instruments. I mean, you know, my brother by the time I was born, my brother had already um, done world tours. Yeah. You know, he had already toured all of South America with different 
huge artists of the time, like Hector, Hector Lavo and Willie Colon and Ruben Flores. And these are people that, like, back when salsa was pop music, they were blowing up. Yeah, yeah. When that was the popular music, you know. And, and you know, still to this day, like, in Latin America, I mean, they, you know, play shows for 30,000, 60,000 people or more, you know, so. Like, you know, let's talk about, like, you know, your, where you see yourself in your career, like, you know, what else do you, I mean, you know, what are you, um, what else me? Well, like I said, I play freelance, and, uh, I'm just trying to brand Camilo Quinones, you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to put myself out there as, you know, not only a uh, drummer percussionist for hire, but also producer, you know, um, just uh, you know promotion, um, you know music. Just trying to do it all. Like uh, you know, obviously you built, you've been blessed enough to you know build a great career off. Of you know, what you love to do. Yeah. But you got any advice to, you know, future, you know, hopeful up and coming, you know, percussionist drummers or any musician of that nature? Yeah, you know, um, I mean, I would say just, you know, for people in general, um, just to strive for what they want and just strive to do what you love because, you know, the more passion you have for whatever it is, uh, the more success you can have, I think, you know, I get from because. <clears throat> You know, if you go after something wholeheartedly, you know, then then the universe will return it to you. I'm Anthony A. My man here. I'm Milo Quinones. Get to know series, Anthony A. Six Mike Film, Mahiko Entertainment. We're out.